What's up YouTube, I'm Zero Zeus and welcome back to another Baruto video. So this is gonna be my Baruto episode 103 review. Please like and subscribe and let's finally get into this video because I couldn't do it last week just because of the fact that I was having trouble with our equipment but now it's over and we're back so here we go. So migration season was kind of what you expected it to be, kind of what I expected it to be like the final the final boss battle <laughs> basically and um it kind of came down to jugo and tosaka in a way you know they still included baruto in some type of way and it kind of excluded everybody else but i guess i mean he is the main character so that's to be expected but um this moment right here i chose like i could have got a better frame and everything but i just had to put this i wanted this to be in the background while we were talking because this guy was hyping himself up the whole time for so long just for just Jugo to immediately rock him and put him in his place like he got what he deserved he really did like and don't get me wrong this arc wasn't even really that bad him as a villain he really wasn't that bad to be totally honest it was actually acceptable way better than you know some of those characters from the mist arc and things like that so this was actually good to see even though i don't like the way that he transformed it looked really stupid just like just like the the twins their transformations they weren't cool like you see how they they they, they changed jugos so it, it doesn't look as bad as it did in the old one i know somebody probably might be mad because i didn't like his old design when he used when he uses the curse mark but i just really didn't it just always looked kind of whack and i really feel like they fixed him up in this arc in baruto but this guy right here all the other people with the curse marks look horrible <laughs> just to be totally honest but um yeah so we have this moment right here where basically Jugo, like I said, just rocks this dude. He just runs right through him, beats him up, and immediately, you know, he can't hold it. I think he said Orochimaru can't hold a candle to him. And it's like, yeah, I think he might be smelling himself a little bit too much because he did good, you know, but I just feel as if he's still out of his league, especially when it comes to Orochimaru. But, you know anyway but long story short jugo he extracts the curse mark from him he ends up which is so weird he ends up just naked ass naked on the ground like you literally see this dude's ass and it's like i wasn't expecting i wasn't expecting that <laughs> not trying to say baruto is so childish and like i wanted to see that because i definitely didn't want to see it but it's just i never thought that you would see it so i thought that, that i thought that was pretty crazy and next, but last but not least, what I wanted to talk about was Baruto's strategy to defeat Jugo. I thought that was really cool. He used, I think he was using the momentum from him running and Rasengan behind it. Now he he he, I think he started off with a, he started off running. He used the Gale Palm to give him a little bit more speed, and it looked like it did not work. It looked like it really didn't work. And this moment was kind of dark when you he used the Rasengan and you just see like Jugo kind of just like it looked like he just brushed it off and he proceeds to smash Baruto's head and it's like it just like went to a really dark place and as soon as he was about to like land the finishing blow you actually get to see that the Rasengan did affect him his plan did work it just took the, it took a little bit longer for it to take effect it's kind of like it, it reminds me a little bit of like when Sasuke and Naruto they were he was doing a Rasengan and he was doing a Chidori and they were like kids and you know Kakashi both tossed them to the side and you know it's like oh look at that little hole Naruto made didn't do anything right and then when you looked at the back of it it was like a big explosion in the back way bigger than the Chidori had made and it was like I don't know I just thought that was really cool but um I'm gonna end this right here before I get copyrighted by the people that are outside because it's just every time I make videos it just seems like they want to come pull up with the loudest music in ever but um anyway this has been my baruto episode 103 review please like and subscribe and i'll see you all next time and i'm probably not gonna do a preview for this week's episode that just came out 104 because i mean there's no reason to do the preview so i'm just gonna skip that and go it's gonna be the preview and review 